I'm Stéphane Cellier and I'm an artist, I'm a painter. I came from France like yeah, it was seven years ago now because I love United States, so I sold everything I had in France and came here. So I paint, I use technique from the master, the French master from the 15th century to know, like the glazing I'm using on that one, the multiple glazing with transparency. So uh, like the grisaille, I painted black and white first and add the colors on the top with transparency, some different kind of techniques like that. I work on wood panels and usually I paint subjects that are more modern with classical techniques. So it looks really classical, but when you take the time to watch it, it's a little bit different. I get that training in France uh, when I was in the French National Fine Arts School. The real first step, uh, it's the creation of the design. So I've got some images that appears in my brain. That's why my wife thinks I'm nuts. She's probably right. I look at pictures, I try to find pictures to see how I can create my uh, composition. And first step is to create the design, so I can create my design and after that I start to draw. I just draw and painting, painting, painting. So I will start with a dead layer to put the very quickly the light and shadow, how it will look. And after that I will add layers and layers and layers and I built the painting. You build almost like a sculpture, you add layers and layers and layers to build the shape. Because everything we see, it's because of the light. So the shape is created by the light, so you need to add layers and layers and layers to create all the small differences in the light that create the shape. It's a long, long process. I will add layers with transparency, a little bit like when you use um, sunglasses, different kind of colors, so they will blend together like filters and you change till you obtain the transparency and the texture of the skin. Sometimes there is like this one, there is around 50 different layers to create the texture on, uh, on the skin and the, the transparency, the light inside. It's hard to stop because when you are in this process, you are in another world, there is nothing else around you, and you work with the inside of yourself, of your, your deep thought. It's, it's just a conversation with your soul, that's all. You are with yourself and you talk to yourself and you want to have a message in uh, that painting. You want to put the emotion you feel when you paint on the palette and on the painting. It's really a meditation process. In my painting, I try to express something that disturbed me or something I like. And sometimes what I like is when the people who will, the viewer who will see the painting, they will try to find a message about me, but usually they will find something about themselves. That's what I like. So it reflects more what people think about it, about the message I really put in that, because my vision is completely different probably. All the viewer will have an opinion, different opinion of that painting. That's my goal. So it's more like a mirror. They can see what they, they are, what are their uh, real deep thoughts and how they are. So I want people to feel something, even if they don't like it, and they say, "Oh, it's disgusting." It's okay. There is an emotion. It works. So yeah, that's what I want. <laughs>